This is 802 Oakwood. Nice lot. It's at the end or corner of a street here, so it turns real nice. Very quiet. That house right there is the one that sold. Sorry, you can't see it with the sun. Um, that one just sold for $1.99. And then you've got a very nice, well manicured yard here for the neighbors. Your property goes over, I would say, to the back of this tree over here. Um, there is a shed right here. I know that's on the property line. Um, I like this little stone retaining wall. It gives it some character. Um, going up to the front step, I'll take you in another way, but that's the front door. Newer windows, don't have a specific date on those yet. Over here's the garage. There's a little workshop next to it. You guys are good. Uh, single car garage, pretty decent shape. Again, retaining wall. Backyard, this particular parcel goes to this crown. And then there's a vacant lot next door here, which is also part of this property. Let me take you up there. It does have about 65 feet of road frontage. So the road is right back here. And then over to the other side of these bushes. So it's 112 feet deep. Nice buildable flat lot. The owners bought this so nobody would build behind them. So otherwise the property slopes just a little bit there, a little bit of a gully, but metal roof. And I believe that was done in 91. I've got the dates on that. Let me take you. The one concern I have, and maybe y'all can help me, is with this type of siding. I'm just not familiar with it. But there's some repair work that needs to be done there. But just in that one corner is where it's bad. And then some fascia. I'm going to keep walking around this way. I don't twist my ankle on <laughs> So, nice little back porch. They did have some shutters on the front of the house and they took those off. That's kind of nice. Nice backyard. I mean, there's nobody on this side. So it's a very private yard. And again, that's where that corner street goes by. I'm gonna take you inside on a separate video.